to find the value of y at this point, we're going to have to substitute 10 plus delta t in for the time. This is how we find the y coordinate. We substitute the clock time coordinate into the function model. When we do that, we see that at clock time t equals 10 plus delta t, y is going to be 0 0.015, our a coefficient, times the square of the time coordinate. So we see that we've got clock time 10 plus delta t. We're going to plug it in for t and square it. Minus 2.15, our b coefficient, multiplied by the 10 plus delta t, plus 100. Well, if we do a little bit of algebra, and we've got to be careful in squaring the binomial here, 10 plus delta t squared, is going to give us 100 plus 20 delta t plus delta t squared. Remember we have to multiply 10 plus delta t times 10 plus delta t. It's the square of a binomial. Um, and distribute through here and make sure that we keep our signs correct and add the 100 and then simplify, do just a little bit of algebra and simplify the expression. We obtain y equals 0 0.015 delta t squared minus 1.85 delta t plus 80. Let's take a closer look at that. Let's move down just a little bit and zoom in on that result. It's obtained from substituting ten plus delta t for t in our quadratic model.